have important news. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Wow. I didn't watch the trailer, though. This shit crazy. This is sad. <laughs> I have important news. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know I'm going to take good care of Gray. <laughs> Man, who is this n I'm about to kill? Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Baby, you. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. I'll take you to the dark side. Dear Black Heavenly Father. College Redeemer, uh. If you could just help us. Son, it's for you. New phone. Who this? All black everything. At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm. Man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Devin, um, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. Hey, these, What's these the problem? The, <laughs> these, are the, these are the best jokes. Like, that's what they always put in the trailer. The best fucking jokes they got. I right. like the chain. Unfortunately, this is a black America in 2024, though. Like, what's the problem? It is, like, over, but, like, it is what it is. Yeah, it's black America for a while. <laughs> yeah. Probably the baby drug dealer is too much, but other than that, it's not... It's the facts. I kind of like the baby drug dealer. It's funny, but... I'm not going to watch this shit, because I just don't like watching Netflix like that, but... Yeah, so it's tell the me so, so tell me this... Is, do you guys think that this accurately reflects Black America? I think it Some, reflects the the, the hood, baby. yeah. Somewhat, yeah, the hood, yeah. Yeah, I'll say somewhat. I'm not mad. It's I bad, mean, besides, but it is what it is. Besides the highly intelligent daughter, uh, yeah. <laughs> it always sucks when someone puts the a same, mirror Get the same characters in every fucking show. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. they're gonna have a baby. Yeah, all self self mental father shit gonna have a baby. To, you like, know how you make an apple pie? Bags. You that gotta have this, you gotta have that. fucking brown sugar on top, you gotta have fucking cinnamon, you gotta have all this other shit. Well, that's what they got. They got the fucking loudmouth kid, they got the fucking dumb guy, they got the genius daughter because she's a girl, she's got to be the fucking smart one. Blah 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 blah. Mm. What a fucking barrel in my mouth for fuck's sake. Facts, Bill. Facts. Get me under my roof no more. Hmm. Man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. In a nocturnal state of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. They put the <laughs> guns and drugs on the streets. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on, you I see, see this. A bunch of white men bringing crates of guns <laughs> into the hood and just leaving them there. Ain't oh, jeez, no it's money. like it that's almost right happened, itself. They said that's what happened. Just say, that's one dude said that he seen that. One dude <laughs> said he came in the alley and seen a crate of guns. Uh, it's like you said, that. man. You could go to a party and you're talking to some guy and you could just say the dumbest shit you could think of. Like, hey, did you hear that... Uh, yeah, Trump jerked off on the popcorn at the fucking Academy Awards dinner, okay? All right, all right, don't tell nobody. Nobody's supposed to know. And then, we, boom, it takes off, and from then on, Trump's beating off on fucking popcorn or something. But the one scene out where they're shooting across the building, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, and uh, five times three, they can't fucking handle. They can't hang on to that. But they'll know budget. that it's a, it's, it's Trump beat off over dog. popcorn. That's all it is. Low budget boondock shit. 
Yeah, man, it's um. Oh. <sighs> um. Would you watch this song? Hell no. Nah. That shit is terrible. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Bad... It is bad animation. It looks trash. Dreadful. It looks dreadful. Yeah, it, it. I guarantee you they're gonna do really good. Thirteen episodes, and this is how it's gonna play out. The mother is the politically active, intelligent one that understands what's going on in the world. The father's a dumbass. The son's a dumbass. Yeah, they're just course. there for the jokes. The daughter's intelligent, and the baby's a comedy relief too. At the but end of the day, show, though. the political, that's but the political, it depends. It depends, though. Like in Family Guy, the political messages came through Brian, the dog, the dog, because that was <laughs> that was that was Seth MacFarlane's character. That was him. That is true, so. The yeah. political message came through him. This one, the political messages are going to come through the mother because she's a black woman. And the daughter. I mean, yeah, the, daughter right. the daughter's a black woman too, but they're just going to focus on goofy high school shit and make her good at math or something. Like that. But. The mother's going to be the one that's going to do all the political shit in this one. And the father's going to be, like, retarded. Oh, yeah, with the fat white beater stained up. Yeah, and not that I might it, but it's so obvious that that's what it's going to be. And then they're going to get the the same recipe over and over, rinse and repeat. Hollywood hasn't had an original thought since the fucking 50s. Yeah. Salute to Mr. Cloudwood. He says... I'm buying a super chat to beg fishermen to log on. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, yeah please, man. Um, this is with this this right here though. Um, this trope that like white people dropping off guns in the hood, crates of guns, and niggas just come outside. Like, oh man, crates <laughs> of guns! And now we gotta kill each other, man. Yeah. Oh look, what's this go? Crack cocaine? Oh gee, how do you make that? Black people, yeah. black people believe that black people have been parroting yeah. that even though they've never seen that. I've never. You believe in that shit like children believe in Christmas, dude. I've never, ever, ever, ever heard anyone say anything like this. Yeah. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this. A crate full of gun. Do you understand the trail that that leaves behind? It would be easier to just covertly find some, give the guns to some gang members, than to just yeah. drop a crate of guns in the fucking neighborhood. Do you understand how much of a trail and how many heads could possibly roll behind something like that? As far as like officials or anybody who's behind that. Listen, yeah, and it's a fucking cartoon, so kids are gonna see it. They're gonna believe it, whether they're told later on. This isn't real. This never happened. It was a joke. Oh, bullshit, man. man everybody knows. I, I know that. My mom a knows joke. a guy. I've heard that since I was like at least 10, 9 years old. I've heard that up in Houston, and I never understood that shit. I was like, so they just dropped some guns off? And I was like 10. I was like, that makes no sense. But it's what it is. Plus, the, trust me, the last thing the government wants anybody in this country to have is a gun. <laughs> exactly. That, that's why. The, that's exactly. why they're trying to take your fucking guns away. They're not going to give people fucking guns in this country. Yeah, and it's just, but it's just Negro babble, man. Yeah. All that stuff about the crates and the guns. That stuff was just some Negro babble from um some random guy on um on the um on. I forgot when I remember I heard it maybe about 10 years ago, 15 years. I would say 15 to 10 years ago. Great barbershop talk, my nigga. Yeah, and, and it was well, like, like that movie like, yeah. Roots. That movie well, Roots. Do you know how many people that totally fucked up their view of how life was in the. Speak the truth. Um, growing up in Chicago in the early 90s, the same situation was happening. I've been in Chicago where a person came into my house and knocked on the door to come and get me early in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and said, uh, come with me, man. It's, it's a crate of guns in the alley. And I got up and ran out there. It was like, we had a lot of guns, but i never seen so many guns like now, ever. And it's, like, it's like they dropped. It's like they dropped off, like, 
somebody dropped off crates of guns in everybody hood. Like it's like it seemed like it was designed for a motherfucker to lose. Like somebody putting all these guns here. Well, you got little kids and everybody. The gun runners, man. The people who run in the guns, man. Like, yeah, yo, you got to mute yourself, man. Like, um, some people I, that are, like, good yeah. guns. I was, I was, um, when I was in college, one of my buddies, he used to run guns, man. He would, he would catch the Greyhound up to New York and see would buy the guns down in Virginia and, and ride up to New York and sell the guns. Facts. And, and he Dang. would he would ride up all there just to sell one gun sometimes, because it was that it was it was that lucrative to sell one. Yeah, gun. you can make four hundred real quick off of that shit. Yeah, it was like it was like yo, any t any time I was in D.C. when I was younger, I was two phone calls away from a gun in, at the most. Right now it's it even so easier. You can literally just be like, hey, you can yeah, I guess. Now it's like one phone call. Shit, it's a text message away. Like I need a, I, I need one real quick, and that's it. Yeah, if you got some money now, they got ghost guns and all that yeah. shit. But back in my day, they didn't have that stuff. But man, dudes was selling guns. Black dudes was yo yo. Listen, it's there's no credit crate shit is one thousand percent bullshit. You of would course. see you would you would have seen evidence of that somewhere. There would have been an, a CIA investigation. I mean, FBI investigation. Somebody somewhere would have blown the whistle or gotten caught somewhere. If they're just dropping guns off in every hood, do you understand how that how the police department, the um, how that affects the police? You're dropping guns off to violent thugs. Hey, so you're real quick, did you hear? Putting police officers in danger. Hey, Ock, did you and hear about the situation? What, what situation? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll let you finish. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead and finish. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll say it after you finish. No, I'm just saying, like, it, it's just that no one ever got caught dropping these crates off. No nigga who ever got pinched ever snitched. Ever, ever, none of these weasel-ass Negroes that'll do anything to get out of trouble ever said, Hey man, I got some information. No CI, no confidential informant. Yeah, I got some information, man. They dropped some crates off in the hood. Facts. Never have we seen that. Just a couple of dudes saying that they dropping crates off guns off in the hood. Another no crates of guns getting dropped off. Ain't nothing. Another, another problem with the theory is, isn't it like they say it was in the eighties or some shit? It was like. No, but they talk about was, the '90s and the 2000s. Yeah, they talk about every like, year. But but it like it was already fucked up before the guns. Like what the they, right. they wanted but to fuck people, it up anyway. But these are people that like believe in that oh we was kings type shit, man. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, let me let me let me let me finish this good times um thing, man. Um, it's just. Crazy, man. I have important. Let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know. I'm going to take good care of Gray. Gray, <laughs> who is this nigga about to kill? Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Baby, you, she come with me. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through <gasps> Can you do OnlyFans? <laughs> take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you working with. Just hurry, pay for this car. shit. Yeah. Black. Emily Bob. College Redeemer. Uh. If you could just help us. Son. It's for you. New phone. Who this? At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm. Man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. In a nocturnal state of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. <laughs> 
guns and drugs on the streets. This is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too very much. Everything, everything black. The revolution will not be televised. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? Just as good as the Evans of old. Isn't that just dynamite? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. Bitch, you look like money. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black. black. Oh, God. Wow. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> That's the first time I watched this fully. South of Florida Evans, though, she thinking shit. Yeah, that's that's us. Uh, that's that's so dreadful. This is dreadful. Jeez. Yeah, I'm probably put this out. Seth McFarlane put this out. Thought he thought that this was gonna work. Wow. This is. Whew. Yeah. Yo, yo, I I put a link in the back chat out of out of Detroit. It sounds crazy. I haven't seen it, but you gotta check it out when you get a chance. Okay. Bro. Okay. Um. Jeez. This is. Yeah, I put that's, one of these too. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's crazy the headline. I mean, okay. what, can you, what can you expect? You know, contact yeah. clues for sure. Oh man, um, wow, that's crazy. Let's see. And it's bad that JB Smooth, Wanda Sykes, all of them, Steph Curry, my nigga. Yeah, man. That's the worst part about it. Oh, man. I don't know. There's a lot of worst parts about that, man. Shit. <laughs> I don't know how you figure out what's the worst part about that. Yeah, that's that is a, true. I'm like, you got Steph Curry a hole. Damn, that's crazy. But I tell you what, man, those freaking review papers, they're going to give it 10 out of 10. Nah, they ain't giving it ten out of ten. Nah, nah. Oh fuck that's, yeah, yeah. It's, for the, too, just, it, 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 it's too but, fucked up. It's too fucked up. No, nah, nah. just for the political message. Mm -mm. Cause trust just me, that political me that, that full political message you have in 